And we begin at Wilson Middle School in Council Bluffs, a case of inappropriate touching, according to the school district. A paraeducator resigned after two girls reported him. That was two weeks ago. And parents want to know why they only found out tonight after we found out. Okay, TV News Watch 7's Taylor Barth is live with a big story. Taylor. Julie, Rob, we're not naming the paraeducator because he was not arrested or charged with anything. The Council Bluffs Community School District sent a recording to Wilson Middle School parents just before we broke this story tonight at 6. It may be reported on the news tonight that a Wilson paraeducator resigned following reports of inappropriate behavior in a classroom. District investigators found the reports mentioned in this message valid. A district spokesperson says two Wilson Middle School girls notified administrators a male paraeducator inappropriately touched them. The district says it happened two weeks ago. It was on the thighs and on the chest of a teenage girl. This woman, who doesn't want to be identified, says the touching happened over clothes. She's friends with a student's family and says that girl was also violated. It scares me. The district says administrators met with the families directly involved, but the district did not send a message to all parents until Tuesday night. We want to assure you that an immediate and thorough investigation was conducted and it revealed that the behavior was isolated. Parents say everyone should have known much sooner. It should be brought to people's attention that that did happen. It was investigated and obviously something was found. The district says it notified Council Bluffs Police. A school spokesperson says it's up to parents to pursue criminal charges. So far, officers say no one filed any reports with them. My concern is that he could go anywhere and work again in a school system and a daycare and anywhere. A spokesperson says the para won't be able to work for the Council Bluffs Community School District again. The district also tells us it placed the para on leave during its investigation. We're told he did not return to work any time after that.